That takes a little bit of stress <laughs> if you remember when I built this thing I made a relief cut there and a relief cut there to contour this to go underneath the front axle it's just bed frame steel nothing fancy so obviously that's the part this hooks up to the plow and then this hooks up to the hydraulic ram and that's the weak spot of course I beat the crap out of this thing I do have to make a couple modifications. I bent it a little bit. This platform down there is bent. Uh, I need to run, put some gussets. So it's not bad for a, a water heater snow plow built out of scrap crap I had laying around in the backyard. Uh, not bad. I figure either way, this is stronger than damn near anything I could probably buy for one of these little tractors. Um, I'd have probably killed a, killed a, a you know, a, a factory built one long time ago this one's gonna get straightened up I'm gonna straighten that arm up maybe weld a little piece weld a little something something on the back here I do have a welder up here on the hill I got a welder up here in the mountain so I can fix that I'm gonna fix that tonight because uh, we may have more snow tomorrow we do have the blazer in here I do have snow chains for the blazer maybe we should build a plow for this thing hmm all right, well, let me get hammered on this thing. Let's see if anything interesting comes out of it. Piece of scrap steel. It's just scrap welded to scrap. <laughs> but that ought to give it a lot more strength. But you know what that means, right? You know what that means? That means it's just gonna break somewhere else. If I transfer the energy there away from here, it's gonna it'll oh that's warm, but I just got my hand near there. Yikes. Even get your hands to go put this rod back in and give her a test. Ooh. The arm is back in. That's where we did the little bracing. She's pinned in. Fire this up. Turn, uh, turn off the fuel. Come on, baby. Okay, what do we do? Oh, 
Sometimes.